Hey there guys, what's up? I'm not stealthy bro, and I know another video as soon as uh, two days, I know, crazy. Um, but yeah, we're back in Restaurant Tycoon 2, and I'm gonna do one on uh, Clone Tycoon 2, see how that goes, so if you wanna see that video, stick around. But yeah, um, today we're gonna be going over at least Restaurant Tycoon's updates, and they did add a few interesting things, so let's, uh, let's go see what they added. And yeah, here we are, guys, at my new restaurant. So I don't think anyone's actually seen it yet because I kind of just uh, don't really... <laughs> I don't really see any fans in uh, Restaurant Tycoon, to be honest. But yeah, I got my star ratings up. I'm going to do a video on that soon, as I said. Probably coming out mid next week, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, uh, we got uh, we got the Dine Right Diner, finally. And I need to fix that <clears throat> because... I was doing some construction there. Better. There we go. Okay, but yeah, there we go. We got the uh, we got the restaurant finally. So this is basically what I've been trying to do the entire time. This was kind of the theme I wanted to go with. I kind of wanted to go with like a 1980s like neon sort of uh, retro uh, restaurant, but I cannot really find anything that was neon or whatever. Uh, that I could like put in here besides like a couple of these signs so I put those and then on the inside I kind of went with like an in and out look for any Californians you know what in and out is but yeah uh, basically just like a burger place uh, red and white their main colors really and um, yeah a whole bunch of decorations around you got a little staff area now actually you got a little kitchen with all the different types of workstations. You even got some bathrooms too that you can go into and they're actually fully decorated with sinks, toilet, and everything. And then, as you may have seen the elevator, you can actually use it to go upstairs now. So yeah, I got a second floor, still gotta get some more money for this. these two tables. But yeah, you got this little inside area, I'm gonna decorate the walls a bit more, but you got this outside area too with some plants and all. And this is going to be my new area for showcasing items because nice little concealed room, kind of like a manager's office. So um, yeah, why don't we actually see what they added? So yeah, to start it off, the uh, new decoration is kind of just a whole bunch of curtains. So you got like a small curtain, a small open curtain. Kind of wish they just made it to where you could just open it manually instead of having to place one down like this but you know that's whatever and then you got large closed curtain and then open large curtain and then you have this one right here which is a very big <laughs> curtain but the thing about this one is that you can actually move it anywhere so if you wanted to make like separate rooms with just like a cloth wall well now you can with the, the power of the ceiling curtain now the next new feature I'm actually gonna have to go back into build mode because if I just go to uh, <clears throat> I don't know I remember getting something for quest that I could use for this yes so let's say you have this wall cabinet right you don't really like how it looks here well now <clears throat> not only are you able to place it on the floor but you're also able to rotate it so it doesn't work if like I don't know you're trying to place it like that it'll still auto lock to get a fixed position so you can't do anything creative with that but you can at least place uh, some wall stuff on the floor now and rotate it around so it actually looks somewhat normal now for this next part of the update I'm actually gonna have to go to this uh, person's restaurant because if you go the order option before you're able to order just like regular things you know for however much money right but now as you can see at the top here you can actually order their like specialties like their custom made like pizzas and all like how you're able to like name your own smoothies and ice creams and all of that you can now order those from other players restaurants so there you go moving on to the last part of the update now i'm actually gonna have to go back to my restaurant but i unloaded it and that's actually because as you can see i don't have that many saves <laughs> so I only have this one restaurant but if you go here and you have four restaurants before uh, you were limited to four and that was it but now you can actually buy up to 12 restaurant safe slots so uh, yeah you can do that now so people who you know you want to <clears throat> make 
all different types of restaurants and stuff like this one this one's nice but i kind of want to make like an aquatic themed one and stuff so <clears throat> if you ever have plans to you know do different types but you're worried you're not going to be able to save it anywhere without getting rid of another one well you can just buy more save slots now so you don't have to worry about that but yeah there you go guys that's pretty much going to be it for today that was a uh, pretty a uh, pretty sizable update to be honest as i said kind of wish they did the curtains a little bit differently but you know they're fine as they are right now you are able to color and change the material so i'll consider that a win but yeah um that's gonna be it for today if you enjoyed found the video helpful then leave a like as that helps out the channel and if you didn't find it helpful then tell me why in the comments below I know some of you like to be contrarian, so, you know, I'd always like to see that. But yeah, um, that's going to be it. I'll see you in another one, and peace out.